miles aside from my soul Had a great night's sleep. Actually, I went to sleep really early. We took a four hour nap and uh, relaxed, went and ate some dinner, and then I crashed out again. But I got up about 3.30 this morning, so that's what happens with the jet lag. But I think I feel pretty good today. The hotel is very nice. Uh, it worked out perfect for the three of us, everything. Everything is good, highly recommend this place. We are headed to another spot in Bangkok this morning. What the hop? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, I'm talking to my camera. It's my only friend. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're headed to Keisha's condo here in Bangkok. Gonna spend a few days there until I get my mom's visa in order. And uh, I don't know. We I don't know if we're gonna stay past that or not. We really don't have a place picked out on our next uh, destination, but that shouldn't be difficult. I want to get her a condo somewhere. I don't know, I wanna do something, I wanna put her somewhere where she feels like, could this possibly be a place that I'm interested in staying long-term in the future? Nothing's gonna happen really fast, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, let's go in here. They've got a breakfast here for us and uh, I'm hungry, of course. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You sleep good? Yeah. We're trying to get organized in the truck. The truck is extremely full <laughs> right now. And uh, we're gonna have to ship a couple of bags to top and on, which will be easy to do. We just gotta take it to the post office whenever we get settled in. Mom had a good workout this morning, huh? Yes, very good. It was just a little short workout. Nothing's, nothing too strenuous. Just we'll start little steps at a time. Uh, to about 10, day one is 10 minutes on the bicycle with a little bit of resistance and 10 minutes on the treadmill with some inclination and some fly weights and just a little bit of stuff. The, the next place is supposed to have a really good gym, so breakfast is on the way. What do you think about this hotel, Mom? Good? I thought it was wonderful and I would highly recommend it. Yeah, it's more of our style, Mom. Absolutely. Good job, Paige. All right, there you go. Got a salad with mayonnaise on it, tomato. Mm -hmm. This was an American breakfast, by the way. They've got good old fashioned hot dog wieners. That and that. I don't remember ever having that for breakfast in America, do you? Never. <laughs> but the egg is not runny, so that's good. That's good. Salt and pepper. Um, I'm sure there is somewhere. Wow, my. Paige just got my mom eating Thai style this morning. <laughs> Very cool. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty. Hey y'all, Chuck here with No Time To Be Sad, and this is my beautiful wife of 15 years, Paige. We downsized, saved, and liquidated to quit our lifestyle in America of living for things to a life of wherever it might take us. We moved to Thailand in November of 2016. We currently live Thai style on the Mekong River in a town called Tat Phanom in the province of Nakhon Phanom. This is my wonderful Thai family. Every day for us is an adventure and we spend most of our time exploring and living for the moment. We know nothing lasts forever and we try to enjoy every new day we have. I don't have time for things that really don't matter in my life. So there you have it. No time to be sad. Well, that was a good breakfast. We got a 
A lot of stuff to get in the truck. I forgot to mention that we are going to go see the lawyer this morning. Not this morning, but this afternoon. To get my mom's one-year visa extension. on, She came in on an on-arrival 30-day, which you can get a 30-day extension on that. But she's getting her hopefully by Friday. He said really it might only take one day. So hopefully you guys come with us on that to see to see what it's going to take for him to get this is like going to be super easy if he can get this thing done he said paperwork today tomorrow we go to immigration and get her bank and she should have her visa before the weekend today's thursday so one day that would be cool I got it. well we are like the beverly hillbillies now so they loaded up the truck and they moved to beverly Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. No, he didn't want us to be. Like, I don't know, we've never had this much stuff, even traveling with like six people in the truck. <laughs> well, let's <coughs> go clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> huh? oh. Let's go to the post office. Really? Yeah. Well, we've traveled around in many circles today, this morning trying to find a post office now we're trying to find a carry express which is a delivery company and uh we're having a very difficult time there's a lot of traffic right now and it's raining normally there's post office and delivery service all over the place but um yeah not really today so much make a u-turn Well, Bangkok's got everything except the post office, so we obviously we can't we can't mail our stuff here. We'll have to wait till John TM. So none of the express places will mail a package, and we have to fit in the box. Yeah. We're just... Okay, we're just gonna go to Keisha's house. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated because the problem is just Bangkok. Like it's so confusing. Turn and right the onto the GPS. Ramp doesn't really know what's going on in Bangkok and a lot of places that is recommended they don't mail anything bigger than a package like a small box so we're just gonna deal with this stuff and then not worry about it for a while until we get to uh, to Jom Tien which might be soon anyway So we're going in the right direction, but not that one. Thirteen more minutes. Can't wait. What? Mom, are you okay back there? I've got to be okay. I have to have faith in you and... At least you have all your things oh. with you now. Yeah, I got all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Look at that. That's Bangkok. It's a big city, isn't it? Yeah, it's bigger than Chicago. Look, everywhere you can look all around you is nothing but buildings. You don't want to get lost in there. No. And she, she, just, love it. she loves to go random places in Bangkok yeah. and then just go, ah, sorry, it's your, up to you now. Get you a nice little bungalow in there, mom. <laughs> in 400 meters, keep left at the fork. <coughs> All the fishing you want right there. Oh my I don't want to be in this thing here. I'll tell you that. It's like a jail. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, mobile jail. All right, we got to get on a busy road. Keisha, thank you so much. Keisha's not feeling well, so we're gonna have to stay away from her. But look, I brought yeah. you a gift packet. Yay! She said she likes those. <laughs> I don't. I, to me, they're kind of plain and chewy. No. Best candy ever. So I got you all the ones I can find. I got this for Charles. And I appreciate that. Did you think that. you like that? Oh, he's gonna love that. He is gonna, that's gonna be, I think he's gonna 
hide that I, away. I found you. Well, I found this one later, but I've got all the boxes they had of these. Yeah, so. If you would have bought me just one, I would have <laughs> nah, just been okay. too thrilled. Thank you. That's yes, yours. Thanks. So. Thank you. You're gonna be better in the next couple days. Yeah, I'm actually feeling a lot better today, but I just want to, you know, be careful and yeah. not be around you guys. I need to take a taxi to the embassy. Can they get me a taxi here? Yeah, you can uh, grab cab. It's easy. Grab yeah. is easy. They come right in and pick you up right in front of the Oh, I don't have, I gotta put the app on my phone then. Or just let me know and I'll just call it or whatever. Either way, you know, just, it's not yeah. hard. We'll figure it out, right? Yeah. You can figure it out. So, yeah, you guys. Where's the hotel? Oh my hotel. god. Oh, <laughs> holy crap, this thing is huge. Oh, you're gonna love it. That's not part of it. That's pipe. Oh. But uh, you are gonna love the rooftop. I wanna show you guys around upstairs once you get settled in. Okay. Because you're gonna love it. I gotta go see my lawyer tonight. Tonight. He, yeah, he wants to see. I gotta do some paperwork. Okay. And uh, that's why I need to take a cab over there, I guess, tonight. Yes. Yeah, it's it's by the embassy. Cab. All right, so how do I get, where do I go? Okay, so you're gonna go. Hang on a minute, we gotta figure out where we're at. <laughs> okay, this is Keisha's second condo. She actually got this for her daughter who moved back to the States. But uh, we're gonna try to arrange this. It's a beautiful small little condo. It is, it's perfect and, uh, for one person. I don't know if she's gonna be able to sleep on that fold out or not, but we'll. We're gonna try it. We'll try and we'll see. If not, so let's sleep up here. Well, yeah, we're only going to stay here a couple of nights because I think the guy's going to have everything done by tomorrow. Look at this craziness. I mean, if you love this, more power to you. I don't like Bangkok. Bangkok gives me anxieties. Like, I'm ready to go already. So we're gonna catch a cab to the law office, which is right across the street from the embassy. I know there's a hundred ways to get there. There's a lot of ways, but we're just gonna take a cab which is right out front of our hotel and uh, go to Ford. You have to use that though. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go sign some papers today. What are we going to go to Ford? Hmm? Going to go to the lobby? I'm going to get some umbrellas. It's raining. It's like an ice box down here, though. I don't know where we're at. Jurassic Park or something. What is this? Oh, it stinks in there. <laughs> Interesting, huh? I love Bangkok. We don't really know how to get out of here. We'll figure it out, huh? Maybe this is it. Okay.
Okay, that was fun. Okay, we made it. Had to go around the block a few times, but uh, a lot of traffic. Apparently in front of the embassy means right hand side of the embassy. So we uh, we are here. Embassies right across the American embassy is right directly across the street. The entrance to it is right there actually. And uh, the building across the street here is where we need to be. I love Bangkok, it's so easy. <laughs> this is only takeout. I wanted to eat here. Then there's another Japanese restaurant across. They close at two. This only has desserts, they're open. So this is where we need to be. I thought we'd eat something since we haven't had lunch. So let's, we're in Bangkok. Let's try to find some food, huh? Maybe, we get coffee for sure. I mean, we can just go in here, I guess, huh? I don't know. Huh? They open until 2.30, almost 2.30. Oh, uh, then they reopen at 4.30. Yeah, 4.30. 21. Okay. Those are interesting hours. Well, it looks like right here in the building they have sandwiches. So we got just a couple of sandwiches. Look at that. This all was about 825 baht, but I imagine the rent's probably really high in this place, you know? But it ain't gonna be the it isn't gonna be the price of a market food for sure. It's the most expensive area. You know what? I think if you're kind of a homebody, you don't like to run around much, Bangkok is a good place because you could just dial grab and they'll deliver food to your house. But I don't know, I'm more of a get out and see things place. I know you can get on the transportation and run around here pretty easily, but if you're not familiar with it, it's, it's difficult. Of course, I should say it's difficult for me, probably not everybody else. What do you would, think about Bangkok? Mom? I, would, I don't really think I'd be a fan. Yeah. Everybody, the motorcycles are everywhere and chaotic. Brent and Lori said that when they come next time, they'd rather just get right back on the airplane and fly to Nakompanom. They don't want to come here at all, period. I don't blame them. I'm, I don't see that. Of course, I haven't been to that wonderful mall. <laughs> I'm not a really a mall person. What's inside? Butter? It's a uh, creamy milk flour. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Mom got a jumbo sandwich. <laughs> I am hungry, but. You we can take out for the home for dinner, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's some nice bread. We're just gonna. One day we might come back with mom and when she can walk a little faster, maybe we can get on the BTS, but it's difficult right now in our current situation. But uh, tonight we're probably just going to get something. At the, there's a little 7-Eleven down at the bottom of the condo. Maybe just grab a couple of beers and some snacks. And I think we're going to have a long day tomorrow at the, with immigration and the bank. Well, if you guys come here to see David and you don't know anything about the area, like me, there's a food court <laughs> right inside here. I didn't know. This place is pretty big. Anyway, how would I know? All right, we are in David's office here. We are going to... Uh, talk to him a little bit. I don't know how much I'm going to get on the camera, so we'll just... I got a bunch of questions for him. Here, Mom. Sit that over there. Okay, everybody, this is David Lamb. Hello. David, <laughs> you lived in America for how long? Yes, and... Uh, 
15 years, 18 15 years. years. Yes. So not only does he speak perfect English, but he kind of understands our culture. That's why I initially started recommending people to come yes. here. And you've taken care of quite a bit. How many, if you had to guess how many of our viewers? I would say over a hundred. Yeah. So, and, the, and I, I haven't heard one bad thing about your services yes. at all. So okay. yeah. you see where he's located. It's right across the street from the embassy. This isn't some little shady uh, place. It's, it's, he's very legit. Also, they have a, a, a law firm that you can... I want to say just put on retainer. It's yes. all that information is in my description. You guys can contact him on Facebook or yes. go to the uh, to the, the website. website. Yes, and you're really pretty good about answering people back. Yes, uh, always. So anyway, just want to meet, get you to meet David, and we're in the process of my mom's visa. She's still in shock from Bangkok. Yeah, Bangkok. <laughs> Okay, so right now we're gonna fill out some paperwork. We're gonna come up here tomorrow. He's gonna get us the bank account and we're gonna go straight to the immigration office. If I get here at nine, we can get through this uh, by lunchtime tomorrow, which would be totally awesome. But um, th here's the deal, okay? Things change so much with immigration, you know, with the depositing of the money, it's become very difficult right now. So. The best thing to do, I think at first, and you can do this on your own later, is just hire David here and, uh, and let him handle everything. The fee that he's charging today is 60,000 baht, which is roughly, it's under $2,000. And uh, he takes care of everything for you. So uh, basically all you gotta do is just come knock on his door and say, I need a visa. Here's my money, here's my uh, passport. And it becomes super easy, so. I would at least do that probably for the first couple of years. Then you could spend the whole year putting your money in the account, let him do it next year for you, and then the following year you'll be good to go. So that's just my recommendation. I know there's agencies out there that are a lot cheaper, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is somebody that'll help you not only with your visa but with many other things. You want to buy a car, uh, you want to get your bank account, you your hat. Maybe you got an accident, you need a lawyer, that type of stuff. So, yeah, that's what's happening now. My mom's happy, a little bit of load off, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super easy. Like, I've never experienced this with him. I've always recommended him because he's always done good for my viewers and everybody that I've talked to, and as you heard him, hundreds of our viewers have went to him uh, I've never had anybody say they did them wrong. Yeah, he might not be the cheapest person in Thailand, but it's a legitimate deal that you don't have to worry about. And it's not that much money to get a lawyer to do it instead of an agency. Anyway, are you happy? Yes, very happy. She, she's, he's actually gonna send his assistant to come pick us up tomorrow at the condo, because it took us over an hour to get here and it was a little frustrating. Uh, dealing with the traffic. So she's gonna pick us up, take us right to the embassy or to the bank. Yeah, probably the bank first and then uh, and then the embassy. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. He said we should be done by noon. All right, we're gonna go find a cab and do that, do that again, just the opposite. Okay, so I had to go back up there. He told me something earlier and it was strange. He said it's a 15 month visa. And I was like, and is this going to be like a, because initially mine was, you get a 90 day, I got a marriage visa. So at first I got a retirement now because I was 46 when I got here, but I got a 90 day in the States and then I had to get it extended for a year. So it was 15 together. So he said, that's what it is here, but they do, it, it's expedited here. And he does the, uh, I just ran back there. So I'm out of breath. And this is wonderful. So they're doing the 90 day stamp and the 12 year, I mean the 12 month at the same time. So it's gonna be 15 months. And at the end of the 90 days, I just need to check in. Okay, back in the rush hour traffic. We just walked right out and there was a guy waiting.
can deal with this. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> if I can deal with this one. This guy's been driving his whole life probably, he's fine. Why not? Nothing could go wrong, he's got all that good luck stuff on his mirror too, so. Oh really? Yeah. He's bringing up that. We're good to go. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bentley. He's a surgeon. All right, we are here again. Over here, Mom. That was a 73 baht taxi ride. We gave them 100 baht, so three, three dollars. Yeah, we're gonna go to seven. We're just gonna get some stuff for breakfast here, maybe a little snack. And a couple of beers. Huh? Mom. Mom. You want a dinosaur? Okay. You want to hold this? It's a Thailand obstacle course. Alright. Yeah. Right. He's going to take us up to the very top. The tip, tip top. And we're going to look down on Bangkok. Yeah, we're going to bungee jump. We're going to get the clouds. <laughs> We're not gonna My mom's not really excited about my cock. <laughs> no, not the traffic. It's... She's not. But she was super excited about me. Of course she was. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's... Okay. You like heights? All right, mom. Four o'clock in the morning. We're coming up here. Well, it's like the ice box up here, huh? No, we'll show you uh, all that stuff, but this is gonna be. The door key for the buildings that you use. Did you call me door key? <laughs> so the nice thing, they're all separated. The treadmills, but. Uh -huh. My mom asked me before if they have steam rooms in Thailand. I said, just go outside. You don't need a steam room. It's like a spray bottle or something. But Keisha said here they, in the condo, they have steam rooms in the men's and the women's locker rooms. Upstairs we're not going, but a whole a whole another gym upstairs with private private gyms. You said right? And yeah. You yoga can, and yeah. Well, if you go in there, it's yours for that time. Right. Yeah. You guys make sure you check out her channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna put the link in the description box of the video. I'm sure you guys have already checked it out. So all they subscribe, they might be able to come stay in my condo. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? I didn't say it. So you can, you gotta have it to get in and out. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of random like places to lounge here, you know? Yeah, this is a sky lounge. <laughs> a lot of lounging going on in here. <laughs> so normally those things are up, so it's a beautiful view, but um, oh. I think yeah. it's raining. Yeah, but I don't know why they have them down. It's not like it's up. Uh, the sun is coming in. We're gonna come out here with you. Yeah. Be careful your steps. Wow. Pretty nice pull, huh? Hmm. You can chill out here for a while, Mom? So, do you guys get out much around here? Or do you just stay in? You do? No. What, how do you? What's your go-to travel? I mean, 
what do you do? Do you drive your vehicle around here? Or? We do. Because we like to go out like further. Outside but, of Bangkok? No, Bangkok is so big. We could drive like 30, 40 minutes and still be in Bangkok. Oh yeah, look yeah. at it. It's, mm -hmm. Like it's massive. It is huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just see that and think, hell no. That, all of the traffic everywhere. But it's kind of like buying beer. You can only drink beer at a certain time. You can only go somewhere at a certain time here too. Very cool. Is this part of the complex? These over here? That is life so no, that's life is so pipe. So a friend of mine lives in that building. And this whole thing, like our life is so promenade has two buildings, building A and building B. Pull a little murky from the rain, though. No? Keisha, how many times have you gotten in this pool? Uh, maybe about five or six. Really? Yeah. Okay. I it's was, really nice. I was thinking that you were going to say none. You said thinking what? I thought well, you were going to say never. <laughs> oh, no, I have. And we got one up there that I like the best. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go upstairs, but it's a sick pool. A glass floor. Yeah, so if you go up there around the side edge over there. Mm -hmm. Cool, huh? That's a black hotel. Or condo, I mean. Guys, I'm gonna end the video. Tomorrow we're headed to Embassy and the bank. A little stressful in Bangkok. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just not my favorite place. It's bedtime, huh? You like Bangkok? No. <laughs> All right, guys, come with us tomorrow. We'll see how smooth this transition's gonna be. Good night. I love the lawyer. The lawyer's good? The lawyer was amazing, and uh, he, he was great. I would highly recommend him. Hopefully tomorrow it works out. Yeah, well, tomorrow we'll see if what he says is real, and we'll go from there. But the traffic in Bangkok is insane. <coughs> it's worse than California. All right, good night. Bye. I think I should better edit that out.